Recently I did a video on how to install one of these new 2021 ring doorbells that are hardwired. And one thing that I realized that I missed in that conversation was actually letting you listen to the chime when I ran, when I installed this doorbell. Because um, I don't get that many visitors to the house lately, so I didn't really test it out. But I realized when people would come to the doorbell and push that, I, there wasn't actually any chime going off where the old doorbell would actually chime. So what I want to show you today is, I guess, kind of my mistake in not reading the fine print just so I can share that with you and also correct some of those things that I talked about in the previous video where I assumed the old chime would be compatible with this doorbell. So spoiler alert, um, your old chime is not compatible with this doorbell if you do get this 2021 hardwired one and I'm going to show you some more details about how I missed that and how hopefully that can be informative to you in case you do think about getting this uh, doorbell. So first I'll show you the issue. So let me come in here. So if I push that doorbell, listen to this. You hear it here. See? And then nothing goes through. So let me try it again because my Alexa should be working. I'm going to wait for that to reboot. But as you can hear, I guess, or not hear, the chime did not go off inside the house. And what I realized, unfortunately, after the fact, is that the jumper that I installed in the last video, again, I'll link that in the top right corner so you can reference it, mentions on this page that, actually I think it's on the previous page, Right there, the jumper cable bypasses and disables your dis existing doorbell chime and must be installed before you install your ring doorbell. So right there, that's, that's the issue, is that these ring doorbells are not made to work with your chime. They're only made to work with the ring chimes, um, the new ones. So you either have to set those new ones up on inside your home or just use a mobile device. So let me try and show you this one more time. So I'm gonna click the doorbell. You hear it? So what's the takeaways from this video? Essentially what it boils down to is this is an awesome uh, affordable doorbell but it does come at some I guess some additional costs that ultimately this is only compatible if you want your chime sound to be going you need to have the compatible kit it does not work with the existing chime kit and you know this is also a good video on why it's important to read the fine print obviously I missed that and just wanted to make that correction based on my last video that you, even that jumper cable does not make the chime work in fact it actually disables it so you know this is helpful this is nice if you just want something on your phone that you can check out monitor I really like my system and my setup but again if the power ever goes out or if my internet's down I'm out of luck. I won't be able to hear the doorbell go off. So just keep that in mind if you do purchase one of these systems. You're going to need to shell out more money to get the chime kit through Ring if you do want that. Otherwise, if you're just looking for something that works with your Wi-Fi and you got that pretty reliable, then yeah, this is a great option for, you know, 50, 60 bucks. So just thought I'd share that for you. I want to make that correction for my last video to let you know that this does not work with your chime. So if you don't hear anything, that's unfortunately accurate and that you'll need to either invest in a new kit or just kind of, I guess, get used to uh, going off your Alexa or just using your phone as a device. So hope the video helps. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.